Welcome to the Tandem Talk Show, where we help women dial in their nutrition and fitness so that they can lose fat, tone up, and transform their lives. And now your host from Tandem Nutrition, Coach G. back everyone to a brand new episode of the Tandem Talk Show. I'm your fast talking host, Coach G, and I'm super excited about tonight's episode. If you're tuning in live with me this evening, comment live below in the comments just to let me know that you can hear me. Um, and of, of course, throughout tonight's episode, if you have any questions that I can answer for you, please comment those below and I will save time towards the end to answer those just for you. So if you're new here to the Kingdom Talk Show, I'm so glad you joined us. I know a lot of new people joined our group this evening. So this is a weekly live stream that I do every Thursday at 7 p.m. And the sole purpose of this live stream is to teach women how to lose fat in a healthy and sustainable way. And so I share the best of what we know as a team, what's working best for our clients, according to our experience, and also from science, to help you achieve the best goals that you set out to as well. So I'm super excited you're here. And uh, again, I look forward to your questions that you post in the comments. So today we have a brand new topic that we're going to cover. And it is, <clears throat> the title of the topic is the fad diets that will make you fail. Okay, so the fad diets that will make you fail. So, hey, if you've ever tr uh, tried a fad diet before, and we're going to cover together you know, what that looks like and what fad diets are. But if you ever tried a fad diet before, comment the diet you tried below. Um, let me know what you tried and the results you got from that as well. I'd be super curious to see what you've done and how you progressed throughout that diet. Now, before we jump into tonight's episode, and just like always, I do want to give some big shout outs to some of our Tone Up VIP members who are, make, who are making some amazing changes so far throughout their program. And so I want to start with a few of Coach Alyssa's clients. First off, her client, Sarah Brunts, she has lost four pounds and four and a half inches. And get this, in just three weeks, four pounds, 4.5 4, 4 inches gone in just three weeks. That is super, super exciting. Great job, Sarah. I could not be more happy for you. Um, I was going through our, our list of progress photos, and I just saw your transformation so far, and you're doing amazing. So definitely keep it up. Natasha has lost 5.2 5 5 pounds in, in four weeks. So great job, Natasha. And um, as far as Coach Haley's clients, uh, she had a few clients hitting some big wins as well. Samantha is down eight pounds since they started together, and that's been 10 weeks ago. So down eight pounds in 10 weeks. So perfect progress, Samantha. Really proud of you. Jennifer Roberts. Check this out. She's down seven pounds since, since she started her battle loss phase just six weeks ago. So down seven pounds in just six weeks. And lastly, um, Coach Haley's client, Bridget, uh, she's fitting into shorts that she hasn't been able to fit into since she was 22. Okay, so that is outstanding. So losing fat, toning up, fitting in, in more clothes that maybe that you haven't fit into a while, that is amazing. Ladies, so great job. Really proud of you. And uh, hey, keep up the great work. And uh, thank you for allowing us to give you a shout out uh, to our audience and to those listening. And by the way, um, if you're not a part of our Facebook group yet, maybe you're listening to this on one of our podcast platforms, um, you can definitely uh, tune in to this, to this podcast by going to uh, facebook.com forward slash Tandem Nutrition, and that will give you instant access to our Facebook group. So hope to see you in our group, and please let me know um, if, uh, if you're able to get in. If not, let me know. I'll be more than happy to give you some resources to uh, or help you get in. I uh, would love to have you in our group. So it looks like Laura has tried keto, and it was awful, and that's actually one that we're going to cover today. Thank you for commenting, uh, Laura. She mentioned that she was crabby and felt sick and weak. I've actually done keto one time, 
And um, it was years and years ago, maybe when I was like early 20s, and I completely did it wrong. You know, keto is a pretty, pretty tricky diet. And not only does it increase your risk of muscle loss, but you can really mess it up if you don't know exactly how to structure your carbohydrates, your fats, and your protein. So definitely be careful when doing any type of fad diet, uh, and especially if you're trying to lose weight and maintain muscle mass. So as I mentioned, tonight's episode is called The Fad Diets That Will Cause You to Fail. Okay, so let's actually go over first what a fad diet is. Okay, so what a fad diet is. Now, according to the Cleveland Clinic, fad diets are plans sold as the best and fastest approach to losing weight. Yet some of these diets involve eliminating foods that contain necessary nutrients that your body needs to maintain good health. And unfortunately, these diets aren't well researched or the research is faulty at best. Okay, so these are types of diets that kind of like fashion, you know, how they come in, certain types of clothes come in into, into trend for certain periods of time. Um, they come in and they go. I, it seems like keto and intermittent fasting are, are two fad diets that uh, seem to always be lingering around. Um, but a list of common fad diets are one, as I mentioned, keto. There's also intermittent fasting. Um, a veganism as well. So someone who eats a vegan diet, paleo, low fat, Mediterranean, and also weight watchers. So if you've ever tried any of those diets as Laura did, uh, as Laura posted, hey, let me know, post those below and love to hear your experience with those. So now going back, going back to the title of this episode, this is the fad diets that will cause you to fail. OK, and here, here's the hard truth with this. Every single diet I mentioned, keto, intermittent fasting, you know, paleo, all these diets potentially can cause you to fail under one circumstance. And that circumstance is if you're not able to maintain them. In fact, research shows that that 65 percent of people who complete who successfully complete a fad diet will end up regaining all their weight back after they've lost it. That's 65% of people. Now, 95% of the diets that do fail, for people giving them a try, the people will regain all their weight within one to five years. So it's important to note that there's no diet that, that will promise or guarantee results. There must be effort done from the dieter and especially special consideration when it comes to maintaining a calorie deficit. And, and this is the most important part, maintaining a calorie deficit. There's one thing, well, there's actually two things that all these diets that I mentioned have in common. Number one, all these diets, the keto, intermittent fasting, the paleo diet, they all have one thing in common and that they all have different approaches to get the dieter in a calorie deficit. That's the only reason why diets work is they get you into, into a calorie deficit. Now your goal as a dieter is to find out which one of these diets, and I'm gonna share, um, share my, my favorite diet here in a few minutes. The one diet we use with all our clients that helped them lose thousands and thousands of pounds over the last 10 years. I'm gonna share that with you if you, if you hold on here uh, to this episode. But all these diets have one thing in common. They restrict food, restrict calories. They help you maintain a calorie deficit. For example, keto, it helps you get into a calorie deficit by reducing carbs. Intermittent fasting, what that does, it shortens your, your eating window. So it reduces the time that you're allowed to eat. And therefore, for some people, you're, you're not able to eat as many calories. And therefore, you're able to maintain a deficit easier. If you are eating a vegan type diet, then you know, you're cutting out foods that come from animals, including dairy products and eggs. Paleo, you're not, you're not allowed to eat grains and, and legumes and refined sugars. Low fat, obviously you're reducing fat. Mediterranean diets, they restrict refined grains, refined oils, and also refined meats like deli meats. And lastly, Weight Watchers. Now, this is the fad diet that probably most closely resembles a comprehensive lifestyle change. With Weight Watchers, they, um, their approach is not restrictive, okay? And so 
this is the one that really doesn't put too much structure or rules on the dieter. And so while it is a fad diet, it does allow some for some more freedom. Now, there's also another big point to all these diets as well. Fad diets in the long term are not effective because they do not address the problem that caused weight gain. And that last point was so important. They do not address the problem that caused weight gain. Like, for example, if someone gained weight from eating too many fatty foods or not being enough, not being active, you know, why would that person go on a keto diet? They're reducing carbohydrates, right? Um, so what got that person into a calorie surplus? These diets aren't fixing the root cause. So that's very important to understand too, is like being aware of what's causing you to be in a calorie surplus. Is it that you're eating too much food and not being active? Is it you're not being active enough or just you can't maintain a strict diet so you keep binging? So all those are very important considerations. Now, so that being said, Fad diets are, are, will set you up for, for failure. There's no one fad diet out there that will help you maintain fat loss forever. They're, they're meant for you know, trendy, fast fat loss to get you excited and see results. But there's one special diet, one special eating approach, lifestyle change that we encourage our clients to use. We teach them to use this. And may you, maybe you've heard this too. And if you have, I'd, I'd love for you to raise your hand below. Let me know. But it's called flexible dieting. Okay. So flexible dieting. So this is the type of diet that I personally follow all our coaches and clients. And this is probably the most popular and simple dieting approach that allows foods to fit within the structure and framework of your calorie goals. It also allows a lot of food freedom, meaning there's not, we know there's not one food that will magically cause you to gain body fat. And there's not any foods that will just make you uh, or prevent you from, from losing body fat. So with this type of diet, it doesn't restrict you. It says, Hey, your calorie goal is this number. You can eat as many foods or you can eat any foods you want to, as long as you stay within this calorie goal. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be consistent with hitting that calorie goal because for fat loss, as you know, what's, the most, what's most important is how much you eat, not what you eat or when you eat. And so this type of diet provides the most freedom, provides a less, less restriction, less restriction, and also helps the dieter maintain a positive relationship with food. A lot of women come to us and they have this thinking that they have to give up wine and chocolate and their favorite foods, but that's not the case. My goal and our goal as a team is to help our clients make a lifestyle change, help them understand what foods are good sources of protein, what foods are great sources of carbohydrates, and teaching them the importance of carbs. Carbs are not bad for you. In fact, I would, I would argue that, that carbs can actually help you lose body fat. Uh, especially in the, in the long term, you know, most people enjoy a higher carbohydrate diet. So if you restrict carbs, you know, we have carb cravings. We are not able to perform as, as best as you can in the gym. And it also affects hormones like leptin and also our immune system. So there's a lot of benefits to carbs. If you're a fan of carbs, let me know, type carbs below. And I'll love, I'll love to know if you two are a big fan of carbohydrates. But in today's episode, I just want to get the point across that all fad diets or any diet for that matter will not set you up for success if you don't take ownership of learning what works for you. My goal for you is to learn exactly what and how much you need to eat to achieve your goals. And if you want some help with that, if you're stuck and struggling, you don't know how many calories to eat, you don't know much about macros, or maybe you would benefit from having, having some accountability. If this is you, and if you're ready to get some awesome results that will last a lifetime, hey, comment Tone Up below. We have three spots left in our Tone Up program, and I would love to have you on our team, but also most importantly, love to see you get some amazing results. And so if you'd be interested in hearing more about our programs or how we help women lose fat, tone up, and transform their lives, just comment tone up below. Let me know. I'll reach out. I'll ask you a few questions to see if you're a good fit. We might have on a quick call, but ultimately, I want you to find the diet 
the eating framework that works best for you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I hope you found this valuable. Comment, comment below one takeaway you've had from this episode. And I look forward to seeing you next week, next Thursday at 7 p.m. as we go over a brand new episode. God bless you. Thank you for your time. And I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Tandem Talk Show. If you're enjoying the podcast, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.